Alright, we're listening to Devil Driver, and we're gonna get into, uh, the hyperlapse for the letter U.
Maiden! Wasted years. Okay, so the outline is done, and this is effectively what I'm going to send to the guy, the guy uh, from that band, as a demo of the letters. And um, I'm not going to talk about the band or whoever it is in person, uh, in specific, because um, they may or may not work with me. That we may or may not be able to work together. It, it, it all depends. Um, the point is that this is roughly speaking what it is I'm sending them. And then once this is done, um, the whole thing will go from here because uh, what we are gonna do is sort of build out the rest of the, um, the shapes and the letters. And there's a few things I could probably tweak here and there, um, but I think that this is pretty much where it needs to be. I'm pretty happy with how this looks, like the structure is in place. And everything is where it sort of needs to be to be ready for um, the client. Now, again, this isn't the final one, and they may not use it. Um, if this is going to be used, the next step will be going through, as I said in the previous clip, um, these various drafts and incorporating the geometry that's in here. There's a lot of you know crazy geometry to this that I've put in here. Like I really like this spine that kind of goes up in here and then warps back this way. Um, what I would probably do is actually break where this rib is and instead join it here and fuse this part and have it kind of zigzag up and then back down. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of like bladed edges that I'm gonna incorporate in here. Uh, but it's gonna take time to do that. So that's a cool draft. Here's another draft. See again, this is that spine piece that I'm talking about but this time it goes from here all the way up and then into here. Um, I'm gonna incorporate some amount of this in this horn here. So some of this will carry over. And then, um, you know, again, there's that spine shape. I'm really looking forward to getting this spine shape in there because there's just some really cool things I can do with it. But now that the structure is in place, I can actually pick and choose what it is I like and what it is I, I don't like. And um, the symmetry is, is pretty much perfect. If I throw this over it and turn this on, um, you can see that uh, it is pretty much aligned. There's a little gap here because I shifted the letter over and enlarged it. Um, this is now the final size of the letter and the structure was there while I was building the letter. But now that the letter is, is, is built, um, the structure doesn't that that's the structural boxes I put in that orientate to midline and orientate towards the um, towards the uh, the two sort of thorns right because there's a thorn here on the left a thorn on the right that's the left leg and then we go to the right leg there's a thorn on the left and a thorn on the right on the right leg and then there's these kinds of peaks here and here 
here and here, here and here on the other sides of those thorns, um, those were all aligned using that structure. But, you know, again, because this is vector, the structure is there just to build the initial shape. And then once the shape is laid, it stays in um, relative proportion to each other as I resize it. So because I built the structure correctly the first time, as I scale it, no matter how I stretch it or build it, it will stay in proportion. That's the essence of that. So um, this is sort of the magic. This is, you know, peeking behind the curtain and seeing how Houdini does his tricks. Um, so with that said, I'm going to cut this short and um, we're going to move on to uh, the next portion. Thanks for watching and uh, I'm Keenan Fry and this is the Acid Drip. This is the Acid Drip. <laughs>